Hey there, we are live from Midtown Comics Grand Central. I am Henry, and it is the first Wednesday of 2018. Happy New Year to you guys. It's a fantastic week in the world of comics. There's a lot of really cool stuff, and we've really got some great books to talk about. So we're going to walk down the new release wall, and we're going to talk about all the cool new books that are coming to you guys this week. So first off, we've got the brand new issue of X-Men Grand Design, issue number two from Ed Pisker. Ed Pisker has done the, of course, Hip Hop Family Tree books over the last couple of years that have been critically acclaimed and have gotten a great fan following, and now he's bringing that magic to the X-Men. It is really fun, and it's a great history book for the X-Men aficionados out there. Then we also have the latest issue of X-Men Gold, issue number 19, continuing the Negative Zone War storyline that has been unfolding. Some very crazy stuff here that's been building up since the beginning of X-Men Gold last year when the series launched. Some great stuff, really worthwhile book from Mark Guggenheim. Then as we move on over, we've got one of the big releases that I'm super excited for this week, Astonishing X-Men issue number 7 from Charles Sewell. And with art by Phil Noto, and I'm a big Phil Noto fan, so I'm really excited to see him on here. And I'm a huge Charles Sewell fan. I've loved what he has done with the series so far, and it is such a great book. A Man Called X is the new storyline. Professor Xavier is back in the world of the X-Men, but not in the way that you would necessarily think. And it's a really great twist that I can't ruin for you guys, but it is an awesome book. And we are really excited to be hosting Charles Sewell this week at a signing. In fact, tomorrow night, Thursday at 6 o'clock from Midtown Comics downtown. It's going to be a lot of fun. Really excited for a great time. We'll hopefully see some of you guys there at 6 o'clock tomorrow uh, from Midtown downtown. Should be a great time. Then as we continue on here, we've got the brand new issue of Star Wars, issue number 41. And you'll see here that this is the new variant theme for the year, uh, one of 36, the same way they did the 40th year anniversary covers last year. It looks like they're doing some cool uh, profiles and some great stuff. Of course, we've got the action figure cover they've been doing since day one. And the latest issue from Kieran Gillen and Salvador La Roca is a great one. It's been such a cool series, and it's so cool seeing Kieran Gillen on the book now. Really excited for what this brings and how Luke escapes this harrowing journey. Now, we are going to bring it up, and we'll talk about a couple of the collected editions that are out this week. First off, we've got Kill Six Billion Demons, book number two from Tom Parkinson Morgan. Some really cool stuff there, and with a name like that, that's an amazing name for a book. Then we also have the first collected edition of Generation Gone from Alice Scott and Andre Arujo. Some really great stuff here, and checking it out. Whoop, as I can find my finger on it. It does have the first five issues of the series. Some really cool stuff there. We also have the Deadpool and Co. Omnibus edition. So this is huge, and this is actually a cover from uh, Deadpool Team Up, which was a really fun book that counted backwards. And right here on the side, you'll see that it's got the Deadpool core as well. What do we got here? We got Marvel Zombies 4, uh, issues 1 through 4. Deadpool Merc with a Mouth, which is an awesome book. Lady Deadpool one-shot, prelude to the Deadpool core, all of Deadpool core, Deadpool family, Deadpool team-up, and material from Marvel Zombies 3. Wow, there's a lot there. That's really cool, and that's some awesome stuff. And I just remembered why Marvel Zombies is there, and that's because of Headpool. So that's really cool, really fun. Then we also have the Cinematic Universe guidebook, Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's all connected. Some cool stuff here. I really like seeing the Agent Carter cover. Views, of course, with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Some great stuff if you're a fan of what the MCU has to offer. We also have the latest hardcover edition, hardcover volume 2 of Spider-Gwen from Jason Latour and Robbie Rodriguez. Some really great stuff here. And this does collect the 7th through 15th issue of the second Spider-Gwen series. So this is a really great way to read Spider-Gwen. It's a really fantastic series and really nice edition. And then, of course, if you guys are a fan of Star Wars, we've got the Star Wars comics, and we've got Star Wars The Last Jedi, the guidebook to the movie. Of course, it dazzled audiences. I was a huge fan of the movie, and if you guys are a huge fan of Star Wars The Last Jedi, just like me, you can check out the guidebook for even more goodies. Now, as we bring it back down, we've got another collected edition for you. We've got... Spider-Man Deadpool Volume 4 Serious Business, some really fun stuff here as you see Slapstick right there on the cover. Of course, Spider-Man Deadpool has just been so much fun. It's two of the funniest characters in comics and it's under one banner. What's not to love? 
Then we have the brand new issue of Spider-Man Miles Morales. Spider-Man issue number 236 with the Sinister Six Reborn. And you'll see that Spider-Man has been having a bit of a rough time. He's been facing off against this new Sinister Six and the new Iron Spider. Some really cool stuff here. I'm really digging what Bendis has to offer on this book. And a book that for me, I am crazy excited for. Rogue and Gambit issue number one from Kelly Thompson and Pere Perez. Some really amazing stuff here. I am a huge 90s X-Men fan. Like That's what really got me engrossed in the universe of comics, even. And Rogue and Gambit are one of my favorite relationships, and they have a very complicated dynamic that has gone through some ups and downs, and this book is definitely a big up. Some really great stuff here. Kelly Thompson is one of my favorite writers working for Marvel right now, which is working all over the place, but doing some great stuff there, and I'm super excited. Then we also have the second issue of Phoenix Resurrection. Now, Phoenix Resurrection issue number one came out last week, and it was awesome. It was so cool. And now we get part two, Matthew Rosenberg, of course, uh, steering the ship, doing some great stuff with all of the X-Men. And you'll see here that we've got Gene and a variety of different variant covers. And it really is a cool read. If you're a big X-Men buff, you'll recognize a lot of the faces you see. And it really feels like an epic story by bringing together all these different teams. It's really a great read, and I'm very excited for where it's going to lead. Then we have the brand new issue of Iron Fist, issue number 76 from Ed Brisson and uh, Mike Perkins. Some great stuff here. Uh, Iron Fist has been one of the huge surprises of Marvel Legacy for me. I didn't realize just how good this book was until this latest story, and now I'm super engrossed, and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite things Marvel's doing right now. It's an awesome book. Check out Iron Fist. Then we have... The Inhumans, beware the Inhumans. Some classic stories from Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, Roy Thomas, and Neil Adams. Those are some amazing quality names right there. And it collects a bunch of odds and ends issues from all across the Marvel Universe. So we've got some Incredible Hulk, some Fantastic Four, some Amazing Adventures, Avengers, and Not Brand Eck. Even some Not Brand Eck in there. That's really cool and some great stuff if you want to see the classic Inhumans stories. We also have the brand new issue of Iceman, the Apocalypse Seed Part 1. It's a brand new story, and we do have the return of uh, Dakin in this book. Of course, he was in the book a few issues ago, and he's been doing some stuff in All New Wolverine, and now it looks like he's just going to stab Bobby right through the chest. And, you know, poor Bobby, you know. But there's no blood because he's made of ice, so, you know, could be worse. Then we have the brand new issue of Hawkeye. Hawkeye is definitively one of my favorite books at marvel right now it is kelly thompson and leonardo romero and it is really great it's not what it looks like i love all the covers the Ju the julian tedesco covers are a lot of fun and this book is a great read if you guys haven't been checking it out now's a great time to check it out as clint barton guest stars in this latest arc now moving on we've got a big anniversary issue we've got guardians of the galaxy issue number 150 and so we've got a very cool lenticular cover here with alex ross art featuring the return of adam warlock there's some crazy stuff brewing in the marvel universe right now as they are beginning to plant the seeds for some crazy infinity crossover or something i don't we don't even know really you know we just know infinity countdown is looming on the horizon guardians of the galaxy is celebrating 150 issues and i am just happy to be here along for the ride because it's been such a fun book and such a great read now as we continue on we've got captain america and we've got a very cool avengers centric variant by uh, john cassidy of course that's marvel's theme for the month is avengers covers and we've got the regular cover which is great here that makes me super excited because it's mark wade it's chris samney and it's Craven the Hunter fighting Captain America, and that is awesome. I don't care who you are. That is awesome. That is fun. It's such a cool uh, face-off to see because Craven is, of course, the most skilled hunter in the Marvel Universe. And Captain America just might have a hard time overcoming him. And I'm very excited to see what happens. Now, as we continue on, we've got the brand new issue of Black Bolt, issue number nine of the series. Very cool stuff here if you haven't been reading. And you see Captain America is guest starring. Really cool cover here by Christian Ward. It's been such a great read. Black Bolt is one of the sleeper hits of 2017, and I am excited to see it continue on in the new year. 
Then we have the Color Your Own Black Panther. Very cool stuff here, of course, Black Panther. We're getting ready for the movie coming up in a couple months. So get your get your colored pencils and your crayons ready, and you're going to need a lot of black because it's Black Panther. You'll need a lot of grays, all the shades, you know, make them look all fleshed out. Very cool stuff here. And then we also have the latest collected edition of the Reginald Hudlin run on Black Panther. This is volume two of the series. Now, this series originally came out around the time of Civil War, so this is post-Civil War. This is, of course, featuring the very cool marriage of Storm and Black Panther. Uh, a more perfect union there is not, and it was a great run and a great read, so check it out. Now, before we move on, we're going to take a look up and talk about a couple cool collected editions. First off, we've got Orphan Black Deviations, the complete series, a very cool read from IDW. And then we have Star Trek, The New Visions, some cool stuff. It's like, you know, they took the original TV series and they put it together into a comic book form. We also have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Dimension X, which was the latest uh, run on the Turtles. And you'll see right here we've got the art of Jamie Hewlett. If you're a fan of, you know, the gorillas, there's some great stuff there. And then we also have Big Hard Sex Criminals, Volume 2, and a hardcover edition, which is my preferred method of buying sex criminals. One of the coolest books that Image has going from Matt Fraction and Chip Zartsky. Bringing it back down, we've got Rise of the Black Panther, issue number one. Now, you heard me talking about it a minute ago, but of course we are all super excited here for Black Panther to be hitting theaters very soon next month it's only a month away and so we are very excited to explore the roots of the characters in rise of the black panther from Tanahisi Coates and evan arcis with paul renaud on art and i really like paul renaud art so i'm really excited to see him getting such a cool book and i can't wait to see what it holds as we continue on we've got secret weapons issue number zero this is uh featuring of course, the Secret Weapons team, but in a little tale from the past, some cool stuff here. And then we have the brand new issue of Walking Dead, issue number 175. That's crazy to even think that they've been running this book for so long, and it's been so cool. But now it's time for a new world order. Very awesome story. Very excited. And also absolutely in love with this Bill Sinkowitz cover of rick celebrating 15 years of walking dead that's right the walking dead is 15 this year kind of crazy really exciting check out the book if you haven't already i don't know what you're doing go buy like seven you know omnibuses of it because it's an awesome read and totally worth the time then we move on and we've got the brand new issue of the throwaways really cool book issue number seven from image and we also have the brand new issue of spawn dark horror part six unfolding very cool stuff very very uh risque cover but very cool nonetheless then we have the brand new issue of scales and scoundrels issue number seven from sebastian or is uh, five issue number five i can read issue number five from sebastian gurner really cool read and we also have the brand new issue of rock candy mountain chapter seven the jungle fires were burning really fun good comedic book we also have uh, the new issue of Rat Queens, issue number seven, and if we have it, we do. A very fun variant cover that I'm a big fan of. Uh, Curtis Weeb has been doing a great job. Owen Gwenny on art. We also have the brand new issue of Paper Girls, issue number 19. Paper Girls, Paper Girls is crazy. I mean, if you're reading Paper Girls, you know it's crazy. If you're not reading Paper Girls, go pick it up. We have hard covers of the series. It's a great read. We even have some signed editions still. And this is a really great series, cool sci-fi adventure. If you guys aren't checking it out, Paper Girls is absolutely fantastic. We also have the third issue of Number One with a Bullet. Very cool book from Image. And the third issue of The Grave Diggers Union. A lot of cool stuff from Image. A lot of fun indie books if you want to check them out. We also have the issue 10 of Extremity. Very cool read from Daniel Warren Johnson and Mike Spicer. And we have the first collected edition of Elsewhere which that's a pretty cover and this is a great read some cool stuff and it's a 9.99 trade that's an easy sell that's an easy thing to check out and it's a great read 
And then we have a signed edition of Dark Fang number one. If you guys remember, uh, Miles Gunter, the writer for the series, came by a couple weeks ago to say hey. And he was nice enough to sign a few books for us. So we got him here for you. If you want to check out a really cool vampire book that's got a lot of themes about the environment and stuff like that. But it's not like, you know, overfed. It's downplayed. It's cool. And check it out. We also have the new issue of Crosswind from Gail Simone and Cat Stags. Really cool series. Bullet Embraces in issue number six. That's a cool tagline. Bullets Embraces. Then we have the new issue of Birthright to close us off from uh, Joshua Williamson. Of course, one of the coolest adventure books out on the market right now. Then we have Transformers vs. Visionaries. Very cool new series. And I just want to make sure that I check this out. Yep, it is Magdalene Visaggio who is writing this latest adventure. Who, of course, wrote the Kim and Kim series. Some cool stuff there. And then we have a brand new issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe. Really great series spinning out of the popular TMNT comic book series. But it's also easier to jump into if you want something a little less intimidating. More fun, very light. And Tyler Boss, who did Four Kids Walk Into a Bank, one of the most critically acclaimed books of 2017, is doing the art on this issue. And it is a really great fit. And it is really fun, really fantastic, and definitely worth checking out. Then as we continue on, we've got the third issue of The Infinite Loop from Elsa Charedier. Very cool series from IDW. And we also have the second issue of Ghostbusters Answer the Call. This is, of course, focusing on the uh, Ghostbusters uh, cast from a couple years ago. And it is really cool. Kelly Thompson writing it. And like I said, I've mentioned her name three times this week because she's got tons of great books out there. And I really dig the Ghostbusters comic books. And then to close off IDW, we've got the latest issue of Atomic Robo, The Spectre of Tomorrow. Very cool series if you're a fan of Atomic Robo. I know a lot of the guys at Times Square are super obsessed with Atomic Robo, and rightfully so. Then we move on to DC, and it is a big week for DC. First off from Vertigo, we've got the latest issue of The American Way, Those Above and Those Below. Very cool series. And we have... The conclusion of Super Sons of Tomorrow in Superman, issue number 38 from Peter Tomasi and Patrick Gleason. A really great read that I love because it's pulling back a lot of the plot threads from the Titans of Tomorrow storyline that Jeff Johns did years ago. And I love that storyline and I love this world that they have built. Now before we continue on, we will talk about some of the cool collected editions that are out this week. First off, we've got the Atomic Age of Superman from... 1956 to 1959 these are his uh super sunday adventures as they are so appropriately labeled here then we have the brand new silver age suicide squad collection now this is great because many people are more familiar with the modern day suicide squad but this brings us back to the original team really great stuff with the original rick flag we also have Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern Corps, Volume 4, Fracture, from Robert Venditti. He's been Skyver Ross and Zondoval, and it is absolutely incredible. If you haven't been reading the book, you're missing out because it really is a great tribute to the entire Green Lantern franchise. Lots of cool stuff there. We also have The Fall and Rise of Captain Adam. Really cool stuff from Carrie Bates and Greg Wiseman who I like Greg Wiseman because, one, he used to write Captain Adam back in the day. And, two, he actually was one of the main guys on Young Justice, the TV show, and I absolutely adore that TV show. And it is a great book, a very cool read. Then if you want some classic Aquaman, there's the water bearer from Aquaman, from Rick Veicht and Yvel Gukit. Uh, some very cool stuff here if you want some classic adventures. And it's also got the water hand. And I like when Aquaman had a water hand. I have an action figure of that one, actually. Now we move on and we've got the latest volume of Dragon Age Knight Errant from Nunzio to Phillips, who has done amazing books over the years. I'm a big to Phillips fan. Then we've got Angel, Time and Tide, with one of my favorite covers of all of 2017 because this is the coolest cover. It is a boat and it is a dress and it is awesome. I love that cover. And then we have the Snow Queen Adventures in the Frozen Kingdom. Some fun stuff for the kids, as well as, oh, this is great, Simpsons Comics Game On from, of course, Bongo Comics, 
always been doing a great job on the Simpsons books. And then we've got the Boombox mixtape featuring a bunch of different books from the Boombox world. You can see the cute little cartoon heads. We've got stuff like Lumberjanes in here and a lot of fun books for the kids if you want to try out a couple different books. Now we bring it back down and we've got the latest issue of Nightwing, issue number 36. Some cool stuff going on here. And I want to show off the variant cover that I really enjoy. Left for Dead! Hopefully Nightwing can make it through. Sam Humphreys has put him through quite the harrowing journey. I like that phrase, harrowing journey. I've used it a couple times today. Then we have the new issue of Justice League, issue number 36 from Christopher Priest. And that is a really cool and really cryptic cover, and I really dig that cover. It's Christopher Priest. It's Pete Woods. It is a really great team that I'm really enjoying seeing on Justice League really giving it a, a different spin than we've seen in a while and it's fantastic run fantastic read check it out we also have the latest issue of the jetsons from jimmy palmiotti and it is a great read and it's cool it's a mini series it's only six parts you don't have to worry about investing in something for like 17 years you can just check out the jetsons in this weird future and it's great it's really a cool series we also have the brand new issue of Injustice 2, Amazo Unleashed. We've seen a lot of crazy things in Tom Taylor's Injustice run over the years. And now we get to see Amazo, who is one of my favorite villains. And it looks like Amazo is literally incinerating people right there. And that is not good. You do not want to face off against a guy who can incinerate you. We also have the brand new issue of Harley and Ivy meet Betty and Veronica. Really cool covers here from Gene Ha and, of course, this is very cool cover from Jenny Friesen that I love that cover. Um, really cool as we get to see Betty and Veronica and Harley and Ivy kind of switch places, as you can see implied by this cover here. Some great stuff from Mark Andreco, Paul Dini, and uh, Laura Braga. Really great read. And we also have the brand new issue of Green Lanterns from Tim Seeley, focusing on Simon Baz and Jessica Cruz on their latest adventure, Betrayed by the Red Tide. Some cool stuff going on here. And we have the new issue of Green Arrow, issue number 36 from Ben Percy and Juan Ferreira. You'll see Black Canary carrying out Green Arrow, of course, on the cover. And that's because Green Arrow is currently really, really, really deep underwater. And he's probably not going to make it. So it looks like, you know, she's got to pull his drowned body from the water. Hopefully he makes it out. No one survives the Ninth Circle, it says on the cover. That's because the Ninth Circle definitely has some crazy plans in store for the queen family now moving on we've got exit stage left the snagglepuss chronicles very cool series that is just launching from the hanna Barbera line at dc and it really is a fantastic read if you haven't checked it out oh my goodness i'm just it says murgatroy and all that stuff on the bottom that's great that's a fun throwaway of course to the original snagglepuss cartoons and this is really great he's a gay southern playwright in the 1950s and it's from the writer of the flintstones so if you loved flintstones one of the most critically acclaimed books of 2017 you got to check out his new series we also have the brand new issue of deathstroke issue number 27 really cool series from christopher priest doing some great stuff you see <laughs> this is a really cool cover with uh tara here on the cover of course using her crazy rock abilities and we have the new issue of Dastardly and Muttley, issue number five from Garth Ennis. It is a Dastardly and Muttley comic by Garth Ennis that is so bizarre and so awesome. And the Hanna-Barbera line has, I mean, I've mentioned them three times. They've got three books this week. It's a big week to be a cartoon fan, but they've got some really great books. We also have the latest issue of Cyborg, issue number 20 from Kevin Gravoy and, really, and Cliff Richards on art. Some really cool stuff here. We have... Uh, the Captain Adam trade once more popping up, as well as the brand new issue of Bombshells United from Marguerite Bennett. I've really been a big fan of the Bombshells series and franchise, and I think Marguerite Bennett has done a fantastic job. I'm very excited for this latest issue. We also have the brand new issue of Black Lightning Cold Dead Hands, issue number three from Tony Isabella and Clayton Henry. Some great stuff. Two frightened kids, one deadly weapon. And I really like the stained glass approach to showing our characters in the background then we have the brand new issue of batman white knight from sean gordon murphy 
some really great stuff here with Matt Hollingsworth pitching in and helping out, doing some great stuff as we see Jack Napier running for city council. And that is, I mean, it's, it's the Joker. The Joker has become Jack Napier, and now he's running for city council. This is a world where that seems like a good idea. That's kind of terrifying, but I mean, granted, politics are always kind of terrifying. So it is really fun, and it is a great read, and you guys should check it out if you are a fan of the Batman character or the Joker, because it's uh, got some great, of course, it's a Joker story. And then we have the brand new issue of Batman, and Tom King, I don't know what is wrong with this man. And I, I mean that in the best way possible, because the last couple of issues of Batman have been so incredibly heartwarming, so incredibly loving. I have absolutely enjoyed them. And then we get this issue. And then this issue with Travis Moore on art is just like a complete turn in the different direction. And it is just awful things happen to good people. And it is a fantastic read. It really is. Tom King starts off 2018 with an amazing installment in the series. If you've been checking out his Batman run, it is a great place for you to jump onto the series and check it out. Plus, we've got this gorgeous Tim Sale variant cover, which I love. The Olivia Coipel cover is also absolutely fantastic. And it is a great read. And then if you want another Tom King Batman adventure, you got to check out the Batman Annual that came out a couple weeks ago. We sold out of this thing in like a day, like 30 seconds. It was gone. And it is absolutely incredible. This is one of my favorite comics of all of 2017. One of my favorite single issues. And it's really big. It's an annual, so it's $4.99, but it's great and definitely worth checking out. And then for another amazing book that I have been waiting for, for ages, we have Batman and the Signal issue number one from Scott Snyder and Coley Hamner. And there's really some amazing stuff going on here. If you guys haven't been checking out Scott Snyder's Batman over the years, I mean, you're, you're a crazy person. He's got one of the most critically acclaimed, most popular, most fan favorite runs on the character in the history of ever. And now Coley Hamner on art. And I haven't actually gotten a chance to flip through this yet. But, oh, let's just open that up and admire how awesome Cully Hamner's art is. Some really great stuff here. And, of course, it's not just Snyder. Scott Snyder is also working alongside uh, Tony Patrick, one of the recent graduates of the DC Writers Program. And it is a great book for you guys to check out, and I'm super excited. Plus, it's only a three-issue mini, so it's a quick read. So that'll be really fantastic. Then we have, oh, goodness, um... It's a book, it, I can read it, but Cachelle, Cachet, The Deathless, uh, from the pages of Hellboy, spinning out of, of course, the Hellboy lore, so there's always some really cool stuff there. Then we've got the latest issue of Giants as well. Very cool stuff from the Valderrama bros. <clears throat> and that's it, and that's the end of the week, and it is a fantastic week in the world of comics. There's a lot of great stuff. It is a f amazing, amazing start to the year. Of course, we've got some crazy signings this week that I am super excited for. Tomorrow, I hopefully will see you guys at our Astonishing X-Men signing with Charles Sewell. It should be a lot of fun. And then we've got, of course, Batman and the Signal this weekend as well. Going to be a lot of fun. A really amazing week in the world of comics. And we're starting 2018 off right. Hopefully see you guys tomorrow. And hopefully see you guys in the store today to pick up some great books.